Hello everybody and welcome back to System Shock. Last time we made it to... Uh, where, where are we on here? Floor 7. So uh, we're getting up there. At this point our goal is to stop Shonen from downloading itself into Earth's um, internet network, basically. Uh, so we've got to blow up some antennas. But we did find ourselves a nice little base camp here that we can work from as long as we don't <laughs> blow ourselves up on those landmines. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, also, a little bit of, a little bit of an interesting tip. Uh, yeah, somebody mentioned that um, the retinal scanner that uh, we found, I was like, what, what are we going to do with this? Where's the eyeball at? Well, uh, there, there are severed heads on the ground. Somebody brought up that idea, so if we get a chance to get back to the elevator, uh, we will perhaps see about going back to floor six and picking up some heads <laughs> and seeing if we can get into that room. I um, I don't think there's any need for us to get into that room, really. But still, yeah, it would be, it'd be fun to do, so I will probably give that a try if, uh, if we end up back there. Which I imagine we will eventually, although this this whole uh, this whole floor is going to be an absolute nightmare to navigate. Because it's so uh, twisty-turny with lots of verticality, it seems like. Uh, yeah, at this point, I guess, well, first off, okay. You handle that. Secondly, I think we're going to drop down here because we're, we're just like right here, so why not? Um, yeah, we're trying to... Trying to... Do something on this floor. I kind of forget what the logs said exactly. Oh, that's right, we killed this guy down here. Um, so I may have to revisit those. What are... What are you know? Oh, we got railgun ammo. Okay. Um, that's pretty good. We haven't really used the railgun at all. I guess we should give that a little bit more of a chance to, uh, to shine at uh, some point here. Right, I have a feeling... I don't know. i got to save a lot in this area because... There's critters around every single corner, it feels like. And that's uh, starting to hurt a lot. Like, even... I used, like, ten med packs since we've been here, I think. Something like that. So this looks like, um... Kind of like a hub where we can get to wherever we want to go. Uh, where have we been, though? Kind of in the northeastern area? Tell you what, why don't we actually, uh... Yeah, why don't we keep going down this this way? Just because, uh, I guess we can use a laser rapier on that one. Um, <laughs> just because, uh, I, uh, I would like to try and fully explore one area, I guess at this point, before we move on too much. Otherwise, it's going to be like a big giant mess, and who knows if we'll get back to exploring everything. Okay, what do we got there? Inky blackness? <laughs> Incredible. Okay, so I think, yeah, I think I've been here. At the at the very least. Inky Blackness. Inc oh, wow. Thank you. I, uh... <laughs> I don't mind that at all. Wait, is this the elevator we came in? That uh, This actually might be the elevator, so... <laughs> if that's the case, then yeah, we'll, um... We will, in fact, pop over to Floor 6 briefly. Just to uh, see about the, the head situation. Okay, yeah. That looks fairly familiar. And then uh, I think I like fell down into this little crevice here at some point. Um, I'm going to just jump down here so I can fully explore uh, that and then hope that I can get out. Yes, I can. Okay. Um, all right. And there's a door there. We'll come back to the door later. It's not that important right now. Um, okay. Yeah. So let's... Head back down to uh, to level six. Hopefully, there won't be too terribly many respawns here. Okay. So we're looking for heads. I mean, I imagine there's a bunch on the ground in various places. All right. So we're actually back here on uh, fourth. Three, because I think this is actually where we need to be. I think I, I misspoke when I uh, I said uh, floor six. Um, yeah, because the diagnostic thing is in this area, and that's where the 
That's where the uh, eyeball thing was with the retinal scanner. So we just gotta look around. We gotta find ourselves a good old fashioned severed head somewhere on this floor. And then, uh, yeah, we should be good to go, I guess. Maybe we'll get a little bit of an ammo refill while we're in here, who can say? But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna look around, and when I find something good, I guess we'll, we'll go and we'll see if we cut the right thing or not. Oh, here we go, this guy's smiling. This could be the one. Get shot in the back a little bit there, I think. That's okay. We'll uh, bring this one over and let's see if this is uh, the, the, the guy we're looking for. Hey, there we go. Very nice. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Appreciate that a great deal. Oh, we got a log here. Oh, we got robots. The cyborgs, anyway. Okay. All right. We can. We can. Uh, we can always go back and heal. Of course, hey, we got a med pack out of it anyway, so I guess we'll just use that. I did use a med pack here anyway. Uh, and then we'll take care of this guy. There you go, security is now at zero for whatever that's worth. Okay, uh, let's check the boxes. Boxes we got. What is that? Oh, dude, okay. Absolutely worth it. Got a level two environmental protection suit that's uh should protect us from the radiation in the reactor area uh, i think and a little bit of ammo that we don't really have much use for at this point i already checked you what about uh is there anything behind you guess not okay um yeah awesome Let's grab whatever's in here a few extra med packs sure natural pack Cushion bombs, uh, do we have room for a battery? Uh, we don't have room for both. Let me think, what do we need more? Probably the first aid kit. Hey, a little bit of Magpulse ammo as well, and another nitro pack, so yeah, all right. Very, uh, very worth taking the time to come back in here. Um, so I'm gonna get back to level, level, uh, what you call it there now? If I can, Remember which elevator is which. I think it's, uh... No, don't go that way. I want to say it's this one. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'll cut that in or not, but I, I did try that head. That, that was not, the obviously, the right head. Uh, okay, yeah, back to six. And I think we'll uh, put... That on, yeah, somebody's wondering why we dropped, like, the assault rifle or whatever it is we got. Uh, it just really comes down to ammunition. Um, not that we have a lot for this, but this was the, uh, the newer weapon. So, uh, I figured, uh, we'd try it out. Uh, even though the other one did seem good. Um, but yeah, we just, I don't know, it seemed like we had really, really low ammo for it. I don't know if, um, we're ever gonna find more or not. I mean, maybe, probably, eventually, but... Anyway, let's get out of here. Um, and to do that, we gotta go uh, right up here, actually. Okay, so we go through there. And then we go through to here, and then we're back. Not too bad. Have a little excursion there. I'm not exactly sure how long that took. Not too long. Okay, now that we're back here, let's start exploring some more stuff this way that we kind of um, ignored, starting with this door, I guess. Right, actually, should we go this way? I'm looking at this map. Maybe we should go, uh, maybe we should ignore that door. We'll, we'll go this way instead. Because we didn't go through here at all. Um, yeah, let's try. That's a little bit more westerly speaking. It's an electronics room of some kind, I guess. Uh, we probably want to put the magpulse back on while we're here, though. Alright, so where is this going to take us? High voltage! I see. 
there's a lot of guys in there. This might be the, the computer room, actually. Anybody else? I see that there is, in fact, a uh, camera here. I will take all of that, like so. And a little bit more like so. Oh, okay, yeah, antenna relay panel. So we gotta blow this up. Now one would think that by blowing this up we'll also blow up the camera that is in here. If I touch this, what happens? Nothing. Zero consequences for touching high voltage objects. That's the lesson here, kids. Uh, all right, let's um, well, let's test the theory. Let's see what happens when we uh, attempt to blow this up. All right, so we come down here and we grab one of our pastiques. Uh, and then... Panel must be... Oh, oh, okay. And now we run, I guess? Or do I have to actually activate it? I, uh... Nope, it uh, it activates it on its own. It sure surely does. Uh, <laughs> good to know. Yeah, unfortunately, the plastic didn't come with instructions. Um, all right, let's try that again. Should give us plenty of time to get out of the way here. Just hide down here for a sec. And yeah, I would say that did in fact take out the camera. Here we are. One antenna relay dealt with. I'm surprised Shonen has nothing to say about that. Maybe after we get down to like the last couple of them. We'll, uh, we'll hear some, uh, some empty threats of some kind. Okay. Uh, well, I just noticed that uh, for some of, the, some of the beginning of this episode, the music wasn't playing. Uh, my apologies for that, or the uh, there wasn't any audio. Minor mix-up on my part, but uh, I'll probably cut, cut in some background music. Shouldn't be too bad. There wasn't any dialogue that we missed or anything. Um, no you know, special sounds. Uh, not even for the plastic explosive we just blew up. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll certainly fix that in post to, to the extent that we can. Um, and just move on. Uh, okay. So we got a robot underneath the forest bridge. Guess I'm just gonna go across it. It's a little janky to get across this. Got some physics going on with the, the forest bridges, one might expect. Okay, uh, well. Some bones. Very good. And that's probably going to open up that force bridge there, I would guess. Okay, let's just see what we got going on down here. Lots of bones. But I don't see too much in the way of robots, so I guess that's good at least. Let's just grab that ammunition. And, um, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll at least open this up, if that's what this does. Yeah, okay. I don't want to go down there right this second, I don't think. I should maybe consider using one of those guys. Hello there. Normal damage. Uh, maybe you do a little of this. Much better. All right, stamina pack. All right, sure. Oh dear, that's a lot of guys. A little bit of the CD load there while we reload. Oh yeah, just spray and pray it all right in there, baby. I think we got him. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, my lights were already on. I guess we'll turn that off. Uh -oh. I hear more guys. I want to say, yeah, we're almost out. Go ahead and reload that. Um, we may need to make a little pit stop back at our home base. 
to safely kind of continue on here. Let's uh, drop a save. I'm going to keep on cruising down here. I'm going to ignore these doors for the moment. I think there's a guy down there. Yes. Two guys. More guys? Yes. Shit. Ah. <laughs> Ran out of ammunition. Or, uh, bullets in the old mag there. It's all right. We literally just saved. So now we come down here and we're like, oh, God! <laughs> oh shit, we still had ammo. <gasps> okay, there we go. No problem. Uh, yeah, we could have used some grenades, I guess. Uh-oh. I hear things going up and down. Hello there. Good day, sir. <laughs> they're, uh, they're throwing the monster closets at us now. <laughs> Doom style. That's um, not something I was quite expecting to see, but okay. Hopefully we don't have to carry that guy's head around with us. All right, so we're kind of getting off track a little bit from where I wanted to go. I am curious. What is, uh, nope, it's just a closet, literally with a robot in it. Okay. Fair enough. So, yeah, we gotta, it's gonna be impossible to remember to come back to these. I guess I better just do it now, because they're not gonna show up very clearly on the map, I feel. Oh, got a little, little trigger happy there. That one was sneaking up on me. Okay, I think we've, yeah, we've been in here before, though. Yeah, okay. Pretty sure, anyway. Because that guy was already super dead. And we should find, yeah, like a, a trail of bodies, I think. I think that's a guy there. Yeah. Okay, so that's good to know. Um, hmm. Where was the door that I came in? Oh, right here. Okay, come on now. Come on. You think I'm going to fall for this? For this? 15 dudes in the thing here? I have a plan. I don't know if this is a good plan or not. Uh, I actually kind of wonder almost what I can get away with here. But uh, I think what I'm going to try is a little, uh, little something like this, maybe. Did I get him? I didn't get him. <laughs> That's probably too many guys to kill. <laughs> Maybe a couple nitro packs is what's required there. Luckily, they're too stupid to open doors. That's the one thing we got going for us. So we could even try um, mines here, I guess. They're going to blow up as soon as I like open the door, I bet, though. <laughs> or if I, I guess if I just stand too close, I don't know. Maybe they may have activated through the wall there. So, um, I guess that's not going to work so good. All right, let's, let's try this again. Let's just position ourselves like so, and we'll, we'll try, uh, no, we'll try two nitro packs this time. That should do it. Well, one of them definitely died. Maybe we can clean up the mess from the, from here. Nope. <laughs> I wonder... Yeah, I don't know. It seems like maybe there's a... Uh, a little bit of a... Like, if one's in front, it kind of eats the damage type of situation going here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I'll also try using this to, uh, to finish things off here. And let's... I mean, honestly, let's just use one of those right now. Um... Okay, yeah, let's try again. I think I think the the plan has has some legs here. Fine, we'll, we'll use a mine instead. It's acceptable. So we got one for sure. I can 
hear it. I mean, I can hear the ones definitely still alive, at least. Okay, there we go. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, actually, we did get the ammo from the one that we blew up, though, so that's, that's good. Oh, we got a med pack. Out of the deal as well, that's pretty good. Okay, so we've got... Who knows what there. We probably better save since we just went through all that. Shenanigan I can see there's something down there. Like, come on now. Let's do, uh... I'm a little surprised that hurt me. Because the concussion grenades are maybe a little stronger than your average bear? I, uh, I'm not really sure. I can't even get to there from here. I gotta go this way. I see, so there's just, uh... Ah, that's, that's the guy I was curious about. He's a repair bot. We haven't seen a repair bot in a little bit. Okay. Just uh, exploring that a little bit there. Uh, what we actually probably should do is um, go back this way. The way that we came. Because I'm just thinking... I think we're, uh, we're actually near, we go back through here. I think I can get back to our, our little home base situation. So I'm going to do, go do that real quick, and then we'll come back and we'll re-explore this uh, area, or continue to explore this area. Of course, I got to go the right way for that to happen. Which, uh, it appears that I'm not. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, turn around and probably go the other direction shortly this year. As soon as I see what else is in here, I guess. What do we got? We been in here? I feel like we have not... Oh, right, that's the experimental station, okay. Apologize, it is a little dark. But maybe this is the way we need to go anyway, I'm not sure. It all links up, but, uh, oh, <laughs> I, guess this, I guess we could just get teleported back. But I am trying to, you know, as far as the, the game knows, not die throughout the uh, the playthrough. Um, In case that affects anything, probably doesn't. But anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll get back and we'll, uh... Hopefully continue on with full health and everything. Alright, got healed up. Took a little longer to get back to where we were than I thought it would. Uh, but we can actually, I think, just go through here. To get back to this door that's like half open. Back to this head. And then uh, eventually, kind of back to where we were. So not um, too bad, I don't think. I just got to remember exactly where it was I was trying to go before. Which I don't exactly recall. This is, uh, yeah, this is how you get back up. Going through there. Uh, so we don't want to do that. Oh, shit. Uh, Alright, tell you what. <laughs> Let's just, uh, we'll just jump back down this way. But, uh, yeah, that's, it's a little confusing still, but I think I'll probably get a handle on it before too long. So let's just explore that. But I think if we maybe go this way instead, we actually might have a little bit of a better time of things. Because, uh, we can go back around through here... So figure out, uh, yeah, here we go. I think we just go up here. And then we can go around. And uh, we can check this out and kind of get into this middle area here. And I think it will probably end up leading us back to kind of where we were anyway. Eventually here, although we should probably get uh, just any better gun out. Oh, that's right, yeah. Hmm. It's actually maybe okay.
Oh, maybe it's not okay. Okay, that could have gone um, admittedly a lot better. <laughs> In fact, why don't we why don't we try again? And uh, we'll use the mag pulse this time instead. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Oop. I like that uh, result a lot better. No items there. Yeah. I didn't even uh, didn't even put the shield on. And a little bit of ammo here. Okay. I did a few patches. That's nice, I guess. That's right. I forgot to read that or do that one log that we found. Back on level three. Let's let's listen to that. Oh, from Showdown. To Cyborg 77E. Divert a maintenance robot to the computer rooms on levels one to six immediately. To ensure the functioning of all CPUs. If the trioptimum tri lackey gets even a single digit of the system's authorization code, you may look forward to supervising the defense of the reactor level, personally. Well then. Was, uh, was Diego Cyborg 77E? I don't recall. Um, probably, I think it was in his targeting info, maybe? I think he, at least I thought he had a designation. Um... But yeah, uh, regarding that code, we've seen a little bit about it being on those screens, those black, I think those black screens with the numbers, but I really haven't paid as close attention to them as maybe I should have. I don't know. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me too hard. Uh, Alright, show another one from Shodan here. Oh my children. The security zone on level 8 is to be laid out in this manner and no other. For the lower level, remove its access to my domain. The balconies and catwalks shall be removed, save for one force bridge to the central shaft. There you shall monitor all incoming life forms. Okay. So there's uh, only one way in, unless we create our own, I guess, somehow. Perhaps with some trickery, I don't know. Okay, I think I know where this is. This is, we could have jumped down here earlier. And we can get out because we opened up this. In theory. There's a little bit more down here, though. I see you. Uh, you know what? Oh, that's not what I want. There you go. <laughs> not too bad. Huh, that's cool. There's a, uh, thingy here. Ooh, Jump Jets level 3. Interesting. And uh, a Logic Probe. Very nice to have. I will take the energy, of course. Uh, okay. Was there, actually, was there a button to disable this force bridge anywhere? I don't see one. Okay. Still, um, yeah, Jump Jets 3. I mean, they're already way better at level 2 than they were at level 1, so hopefully... Uh, level 3 is even substantially more useful than, uh, than that. Okay, I guess I gotta get up out of here now. And I guess that's why they gave me the Jump Jets. Potentially is to... I think it's so if I can find the hole that I made, I can actually get the hell out of here. Well, <laughs> I don't think I can. Where, where's the goddamn... I mean, maybe it wasn't in here, I guess. Was it uh, back around this way? Oh, well, I can get out, I guess, through there, but... No, come on now. I know for a fact. I made a hole in the floor. There, oh, no, it's right there, and now it's closed. Well, what the shit is that? Is there a button somewhere down here that I can use? Because I didn't hit any buttons. This feels like some shenaniganry is afoot here. I 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything. So I guess we'll just do it this way instead. I mean, I guess it'll give us a chance to try out the jump jets, so... Let's go for it. I don't actually know where I'm going, though. <laughs> um... So... I think we gotta face... Hang on. Okay, yeah, I think we gotta face this way. There we go. Yeah, I mean, pretty good. We certainly... I don't know, maybe the energy usage is about the same, but it seems like we move a lot faster. With, uh, with these, so... That's pretty good, I guess, and that's why they gave us the, um... Energy station there as well, I suppose. Okay, so it seems like we're still maybe missing a little bit of exploration here and there. Guess we better get maybe that back on. Might as well just reload that as well. Okay. Moving right along here. This is what? The core. The door is broken beyond repair. I do wonder. I gotta try. I don't think this is gonna do anything. No. Okay. Worth a... Worth a quick test. I think I may have tried that before on some other doors, but... Um, I don't know. Maybe it could be fixed from the other, uh, from the other side or something. I don't see anything else to play with there, so... I think we'll just go... And... I don't think I can get down there, unless maybe this can, like, cut through these? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, fair enough. I'll get another log here. Let's see what we got this time. Why did I take that turn? Oh, Jesus. It's just a matter of time now. And if I go down, Chip goes with me. It was our last hope. Diego, you want the chip? You want the chip? Come and get it. Pew pew. Huh. Alright, so the roots are all blocked off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if they take me alive, I'll have the chipset with me. There'll be a chance that I can break away and still use it. Uh, well, we haven't found a body yet. Or, well, hmm. Maybe we did find a body. Uh, difficult to say. Seems like uh, she might have got zapped. Great, no items. Yet. Clearly something back there. So where does this take me? Oh yeah, okay, sure. Right back to the, uh, the elevator here. I guess. Uh, there's, I feel like there's still definitely some stuff that we're kind of missing in this area. But uh, I guess I'm going to let that go for now so we don't have to run around in circles too much. What is that? That's a security 2 robot. Okay, we got it. Okay, we got uh, Okay, sure. Um, we don't have any room for a battery pack, so we'll just use one. Save us a trip back to the... the station, uh... energy station there. We'll just grab that. Alright, let's, uh, let's take the shield off for a sec here so we don't waste too much energy. Well, as soon as I say that, I get shot by... Who, uh, who dares? I just want to know where you are. Obviously, I can see you. Seems like there's another guy somewhere, though. Maybe not. Maybe it was just that one guy. Uh, well, I guess we have the shield on now, so let's make use of it. What is this just, like... Hurt me because it's... Electrified? I don't even know, dude. Like, who is shooting me from down here? Or am I getting shot through the wall? That is awfully confusing. This ro hang on, this robot isn't even attacking me. What's going on with, with this thing? I 
That is so very strange. Docile. Functioning perfectly. I'm gonna leave this little guy alone, I guess. For now. Maybe there's a use? I don't know. Maybe it's just a bug, or maybe it's just, um... One robot that sort of slipped, uh, Shodan's fingers somehow. <laughs> I have no idea. Alright, repair bot. I feel like the repair bot gets one of those. I don't think we need to waste Magpulse ammo on that. We'll do one of those. Okay, I'm gonna take that shield off now because it does use so much energy when we're just walking around even. Oh, hello there. And maybe we can... I guess that's okay. Okay. So I think this goes in a, a big old circle, maybe? Aha! Thought I heard somebody behind me there. Wasn't sure if that was just like wires or what, though. So we got a few uh, few needle darts here. Oh, I saw the jump jets on. Crap, <laughs> I forgot about that. No, that's okay. But uh, yeah, there's nothing. Doesn't seem like there's anything up there. Let me come back here. And we've uh, we've already kind of cruised through this area, so we know what's going on here. All right, nothing nothing new there. There's a camera somewhere, though. Behind me? Yes. Alright, so where do you suppose this door goes? Ah. So that's the door we're going to try to get through later on. As we handle the security situation. Okay. Alright, well, um, I guess we'll call it here. When we come back, we will... Perhaps try to explore a little bit more of this area. I'm curious if this one robot is going to activate if I come back this way. No, he's just hanging out, man. Alright, just uh, filling in the rest of the map there. Uh, yeah, I think we're done. In this little section. Um, so, yeah, when we come back, we'll try out another, another wing of the seventh floor here I may I may take a trip back to the healing station just to refill our resources before we do that because it seems like we're maybe not that far away potentially um and then yeah I guess maybe we'll try to see what's down here and, and kind of over in this area a little bit still got yeah still got, excuse me still got a, a little bit to uh, explore up here too <laughs> 